Hello, heroes. It's Dr. Zeno for 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day for your mind, your body, and your future. All right, so uh, real quick, uh, just to recap the things going on. Pretty soon, I think, what's it? Uh, possibly first week in October, second week in October, the second season of We Are Heroes will be launching and going live. So we've been having a lot of fun doing that. Um, everything else has been great. And then, so when it starts, you'll really start to see this happen. Because remember, you know, if I can't commit 100% to doing something, I don't do it. So uh, when we start the We Are Heroes season two again, you'll get the you'll get the 15 minute fuels daily. They'll also be in podcast form. So make sure you, uh, hey Dean, make sure you join on on our podcast on SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube. We're gonna have there, and it's gonna and now now the We Are Heroes season two. I need your guys' feedback. Meaning, uh, please, this is gonna be more. Uh, direct like like you know I'll actually be talking to you guys on the camera uh, it, it of course we'll always have the mindset stuff but it'll be a lot of practical stuff as well some of you wanted more workout tips it's all in there so just tell me the things you like to see in there and we'll put in there so we're gonna instead of we're gonna document and create a little bit for you guys too, to, to be able to give you what you want to answer some of your questions as well all right so that leads me today all right so this is where hey Joe, hey Joe you Tash good to see you buddy so what we're gonna do today is this Today I'm gonna to talk about making agreements with yourself. And I'm gonna show you how there's things we may have done to ourselves in the past. I'm gonna show you how to fix them. The other day, or a couple times, I just noticed over, over 12 years, somebody goes, over, over the last 12 years and 16,000 patients, you know, I've always seen you know, when I worked with patients, it's like, it, it wasn't that they didn't value my care or they didn't value that our system would help them. And that could be in anything. Like, you know, in life we see, you know, they, they, they believed it could help them. They, could, they believed in the system. They believed they would get results. But what happened is they didn't trust themselves to become committed enough to follow through because they thought to themselves, this is just another thing. I'm going to start and I'm not going to finish because that's what I do. You see in life, what happened there? So this, uh, it's a it's the majority of people that they start something and, or they're afraid that they won't commit through because of all the times they didn't follow through. And that's, that's what I'm going to go to, to this agreement with yourself. You know, we've all done it. Every book you started with good intention, but you didn't finish. Uh, the coaching program you started, but you didn't follow through or didn't finish, right? You know what I mean? Like, like uh, you did some of it. And then once resistance hit, you said, no, this, this doesn't work for me. It must be my town. It must be that person's lucky or they got a better email list. Um, you started the diet and then you fell off the wagon. You know, you start, you had, a, you had good intentions, you had great New Year's resolutions, but you started and you stopped. So it creates a cycle and a pattern, a psychological cycle and pattern, where every time you don't follow through, or you quit, or you give up, you weaken the likelihood and the success rate of the next thing and the next journey you embark in. So that might be, well, I want to start a business, but then you're thinking, well, I want, but how many things did I start, but I didn't follow through, I didn't finish. And what happens? Depression sets in, you start, and then because we don't want to admit it, right? So we, we look the other way and we say, well, it's just not for me. Now it's okay to change your mind. Let's say we start something and you're like, listen, this is just not, I changed my mind. This is not what I want to do, but really it was just, just a, a, a direction I want to go in. But I'm talking about all the times that we did have good intentions. We knew that this, this book, program, system, course, seminar, anything, exercise program, diet plan, we, like we started something we knew that would be really good for us and we would benefit from it and we would get, we would get uh, something great out of it, but we didn't follow through with it. It makes every other time we try to do something, it compounds and, and we become weaker. Our, 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 uh, our glue, our accountability becomes weaker and weaker and weaker. And the biggest, uh, the biggest destructive point of this 
is this. This is my main point of this whole fuel. Is that the book doesn't care that you didn't read it. The digital course, that guy, you know, they don't care that you didn't watch it. The, the coach, maybe they're a little disappointed. The doctor, maybe a little disappointed. They're a little disappointed because they know that you could have been better. The person, like, the issue isn't with those people or those things. The main issue here is this. When we fail to follow through or we give up on something that we had great intentions of doing, we, we break an agreement with ourself. That's what this all comes down to. We have broken agreements with ourself. That's the thing, like, at the end of the day, who do we answer to? Us. So, I could, you know, it's not about breaking the agreement with that person or changing our mind with that person or that. It's, it's, it, the whole thing is reflective of we break the agreement with ourself. And every time we break the agreement with ourselves, we destroy our self-esteem, our self-confidence, our self-worth, and it is actually an attack on ourself. And then we start to put on the secret identity and believe the lie that maybe I'm not worthy enough, I'm not good enough. So it's, this is all the conversation, internal dialogue that you don't admit that you wanna have. So how do we heal it? So this is how you're gonna heal it. You could write down or think of a time that you broke an agreement. So I'll talk about one right now. I have many, but let's say I'll do this. Um, I wanted to learn Italian, right? My wife and I, for my 40th birthday, we were gonna go to Italy. So I was probably 37, 37 years old. So I'm like, at 40, we're gonna go to Italy. So let's take three years and we're gonna learn Italian. So I got this amazing course called Fluenz, F-L-U-E-N-Z. It's a great, I mean, great system. Uh, it's computer, it's all these other things. And Whitney and I practiced it over and over again. And uh, we were doing good. I mean, we were getting three, four, five, six weeks into it. And then, you know, it's very easy. Well, things happen, I got busy, this and that. And I just never followed through. And in the moment, see, at the time when we don't follow through, or we break the agreement, we, we justify it by outside circumstances. It wasn't, for, you know, like you see, uh, you know, I was too busy or I had something to do. Or I don't need to know Italian right now or, um, you know, that, well, what was I supposed to do? I, went, I wanted a company uh, dinner and I had to eat, you know, I had customers, I had to eat and drink, you know, whatever that, like we, we, we blame circumstances. And uh, so you go back to that moment. So here, but the way we heal it and we could heal it all and you can move forward with your life and not make this problem again. So for me, that Italian thing, you, what you do is this. You think about that problem. You think about where you fell short or you didn't follow through or you broke an agreement with yourself. And all you have to do is think about it and take 100% responsibility for it and tell the truth about what happened. And take, say, listen, yeah, I started an Italian course and I didn't, I pers I, it was my responsibility, I didn't follow through. That's it, I take, I take personal responsibility. It was no one else's fault, I did it. But I'm not down on myself, it's just like, you know, it's not judging yourself, it's just like, ah, I take responsibility, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't follow through with that. And I forgive myself, you know, there's no guilt, I release, and say, so you tell yourself, I release all the guilt, there's no, uh, there's no judgment, I forgive myself, and, you know, I will do better next time I commit to do something. And so when you start to do these, hey, I blew a diet, well, I take personal responsibility. I'm the one who chose to have the chicken fingers the other day. And uh, that's fine. I chose to do it. At least you take personal responsibility. And when you take personal responsibility, it heals those past disagreements with yourself, builds your self-esteem, builds your self-confidence. And it, now it changes the playing field to now the next endeavor you're gonna go in, the next relationship, the next job, the next career, the next thing you're gonna move forward in your life, you're not gonna go in with this, well, hey, my track record shows that I disagree with myself all the time or I don't follow through and eh. you, you never give your chance the ability to do it where you say, listen, I'm gonna take personal responsibility over this next endeavor or this next thing I'm gonna do, this next, next thing I have intention in and I'm gonna, I'm, the whole time, I'll never blame circumstances I'm gonna take full responsibility and I'm gonna go for it. 
because at the end of the other side of that, I'm gonna be a way better person, I'm gonna develop better skills, I'm gonna be further along my career, I'm gonna, have a, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be a better person, I'm gonna know more about myself, and that to me, I'm gonna stick through because I deserve it and I'm worth it. So a lot of times when you do talk to people and don't get frustrated or ourselves, we all do it. It's just, it's like this hidden thing that we don't realize that was there the whole time. It was all the agreements we broke with ourself damages ourself for going and doing future things for ourselves to be able to help others. So the great news about it is that you can heal it and you can fix it, but it's up to you to do it. So all you have to do is think back of a thing that during the time you just kind of blame the circumstance or you didn't care, but you broke an agreement with yourself and just take personal responsibility. Be like, well, you know, I just didn't want to do that. And say, listen, that, and that's all you need to do. I mean, like, well, I just didn't want to do it, but I'm not going to blame anybody else for it. So when you take the personal responsibility, it heals that and you'll feel much lighter. You'll feel more positive, believe it or not, because you're forgiving. You're, it's not judgmental. And you're just saying, listen, you know, these are the choices that I made. I'm taking full responsibility. And the next thing I do, I'm going to make sure I put 100% into it. And so that's why I relate to it. You know, so what do you guys, you know, I, 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 uh, when I first started doing 15 minute fuels, I think we did like 185 of them, right? I said, what did I say? You know, I'm going to do these every single day forever. And that's what I promised, you know, and, and, uh, I broke the agreement. And I broke the agreement with myself and I broke the agreement with you guys, but it's because I chose to, you know, it wasn't getting fun anymore. You know, I wasn't feeling as inspired anymore. I felt like I had to create content for you guys versus, uh, have it just, just innately inspired. Um, it, and I, I chose, you know, and I had a day, you know, I took one day off and it felt really good. You know, I, you know, and I could, I could say all the circumstances, it felt good. Then one day led to one week, then led to two weeks, then led to, well, I'm traveling. So I just started blaming all the reasons why. But in reality, I broke the agreement with myself, with you first, with myself second. And so all I have to do is say, hey, you know what? I did. You know, I, you know, that was my choice. I take full responsibility over it. I, you know, I forgive myself. There's no judgment there. I don't feel guilty because you feel guilty and say, listen, Everything I do, if I'm gonna to choose to do, I'm gonna do it 100%. So, or I'm gonna be careful with the promises I tell other people. Like I'm not gonna promise, I'm gonna do one every day for the rest of my life. So I'm not gonna promise that to you guys, but I will do five days a week and I'll commit to that because I'm making an agreement with myself. Because if I break it, I'm not, I'm not just breaking the agreement with you. I'm breaking the agreement with the most important person, which is myself. And I, this is just about be like, you know, when you break it, you, it's not about, if you broke an agreement with me, it's not me who, who suffers, it's breaking the agreement with the most important person in your life, which is yourself. So hopefully this, uh, you know, so <laughs> thanks Dean. So hopefully this uh, brings some new light to you guys. I know it's like totally up a level stuff, but that's what happens when you get when, when you have the freedom to sit in the mountains like I am right now and just be, you know, in nature with God and really could start thinking clearly, you know, uh, that's one thing I noticed when I, when I moved out of Houston, you know, I love Houston. I go, I'll go back once a month when I got out of where my, I, when I got out of my, my shit, you know what I mean? Like, no, not, not the practice wasn't, but like, like when you're in your stuff, when, here, like when you're in the, here, perfect thing, when you're. When you're, hold on, let me, I got some background music here. Okay, so like when you're in, when, see, when you're in, when you're inside the bottle, you can't, you can't read the label. You follow what I'm saying? So sometimes we get so, we're, we're in our, we're in our place for so long, our groove, that when you step out, um, you see things more clear. And uh, that's kind of what I experienced, you know, being here in, in Park City. So it just makes everything better. So when I do go back to Houston, there'll be a better version of me and a more committed version of me and a more committed version of me for you guys as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Please share this. Hit, hit, hit the uh, share button. Someone needs to hear this. Someone's down on themselves. Someone has just, just accepted the fact that they're just not a person who's going to deep down follow through. And that's why they prevent, they don't ever take the step to do something. And, but what we did is I just didn't tell you what the reason was, is that we broke the, the agreement with herself, but I went over how you fix it. 
because I'm sick of, t I'm not here to tell people how, how to find problems. We, we always work on solutions so we can move forward and become better to the world. Well, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for your forgiveness. And I will see you uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, for 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day, or however long this was. We'll fuel your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.